Hey guys, Dark Dragonism C here, and today I am going to be showing you a one command block creation version of the pathfinding I showed in a tutorial. Um, it is the exact same thing as the pathfinding I showed in that tutorial, but it's just a one command block version of it, as you can see there. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll show you how to get the one command block version and exactly what it does if this is the only video you're seeing of this. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do slash give at P and then C-O-M-M -M and press tab. Then you'll hit enter and give yourself a command block. Then you're just going to place it down and you're going to paste in the command that I have in the description below and will also show up on the top right of your screen now. But uh, after that, you're going to click Always Active. Then it's going to summon in the minecart and it's going to summon in the one command block creation. Custom Pathfinding, Command by Dark Dragon 902. Click for the Maker's YouTube channel right there and click to destroy the command creation. You could just click that to have the command creation go away. It won't be in your world anymore. It won't make any of the uh, what things that the one command block creation can do work. So I guess I'll show you what it can do. So for those of you that have seen my custom pathfinding video, uh, you probably already know what this does. But if you don't, basically it turns... Purple stairs and red sandstone st stairs into the catalyst for custom pathfinding. The way it works is that you would just place down purple stairs or red st sandstone stairs and place a block on top of them, and then it uh, automatically uh, pathfinds for the uh, player or just entity that's on top of it. You can place a villager or just any entity in general on the blocks that it will pathfind on and then the villager will pathfind according to how those blocks are placed so as you can see they are moving horizontally here they are moving according to the path that was set for them here and like you saw in the beginning of this video the villager will move along the street here. But anyway, let's get into how it works. So, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to want to place purple stairs. You want to go get yourself some purple stairs, and you're going to want to get yourself some red sandstone stairs. Now, with the purple stairs and the red sandstone stairs, it's really quite simple. For what you can do with them, you're just going to place them down in facing which direction you want to go. For the purple stairs, which are the cardinal directions, you're going to place them down and the stairs themselves have to be facing in the direction you want them to, you want the entity to move. And then if I just place some blocks on top of this, like that, and I say some a villager here, then the villager will move along the path directed by the stairs themselves. I kill the villager here. For the red sandstone stairs, it's a little bit different. You need to place it in sort of an arrow of which direction you want to go. Um you will also need to place the red sandstone stairs uh, as upside down red sandstone stairs for certain directions those directions are i believe north northeast and southwest but if i just step on here then i'll automatically move in that direction um as you could see over here going this direction, which if I hit F3, you could see there it says north and it says west. So northwest is normal is normal stairs, as you can see here again. Southwest is upside down stairs, as you can see here, normal stairs here, 
is southeast, and here, upside down stairs are also northeast. So remember, northeast and southwest are upside down stairs, but everything else is normal. So again, you're just going to make it like arrows pointing in the direction you want to go with the red sandstone stairs. But uh, again, this was custom pathfinding by uh, the person you're, who's making this video, Dark Dragon 902 You could, again, click here for my YouTube channel, and you could click here to destroy the command block creation, so it won't be in your world anymore. I hope you like the video and the creation, and, uh, yeah, see you guys.